Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are making Wagyu fried rice. And it's so simple but so sinfully delicious. So let's get cooking. So for any fried rice, it's super important to have rice that is left over. So I had Elipot steamboat last night and we had our Wagyu leftover and we also have two um, portions of rice. Super, super simple to like put together, especially if you're like busy mom like myself, baru balik dari gym, and you want something that's high in protein, a little bit of carbs, just to get you going. A tip here, the Wagyu is a little bit frozen. And the reason why I didn't defrost it is because it's a lot easier to slice up when it's a little bit more frozen. So if you're going to be using a Wagyu piece of steak, make sure that it's frozen. Take it out for about 10 minutes before you want to start cooking and then you can slice it because it's so much easier to slice thin slices when your meat is slightly frozen. So in this case, my Wagyu is already sliced but it's in big pieces. So what I want to do is I want to chop it up into smaller bite-sized pieces. So I'm just going to cut this in half, turn my board around and just run my knife. See how simple it is? It doesn't even like break into pieces and that's what you want, right? So if your meat is like soft, what happens is like this side dah macam lembut already. It's so hard to cut because Wagyu has really high content of fat. When the fat is solid, when it's frozen, it's so much easier to cut. So your Wagyu is done. I've chopped up um, about two cloves of garlic here. Lots of garlic, lots of flavor. I have myself my pan or deep pan, you can use a wok as well. We're going to turn this up. And what we want in a fried rice is wok hei. Wok hei means heat, char, smokiness, okay? So in order for us to do that, we really need our pan to be really, really hot. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to cook quickly on a super high heat, okay? So I'm going to wait until my pan is super duper hot. And then we're going to cook the wagyu off first. Hear that sizzle? I don't even need any oil. Now, I don't want to overcook my Wagyu. So, when it's still a little bit pink, I'm going to remove it from the heat and set it aside. And you see how all that juice is still intact in the beef? That's what you want, okay? Set that aside. Now, all that colour on your pan, that's flavour. So, we're going to add in a little bit of oil. Our garlic goes in. We're going to stir fry that for a couple of minutes and then we're going to go in with our rice super fast cooking here guys sis got no time so we're going to fry it again control your fire it's okay if you have some pieces of garlic that's like a little bit more brown than others and just lay your rice a little bit okay we're going to fry our rice until it's nice and toasted so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make a like a well in the middle of my wok here. We're going to add in a little bit more oil, not too much, just a little bit. And we're going to crack in two eggs. I'm going to season this with a little bit of soy sauce. And then we're going to scramble it. And then we're going to fold everything together. The raw egg is kind of sticking to the rice. It's making the rice a little bit moist. While we're waiting for that to kind of cook down a little bit and we're just going to slice up some spring onions okay the green parts as well as the white parts in goes the spring onions just about half give that a mix and you can see a little bit of colorization on the rice and that's what you want black pepper and wagyu and beef goes really well we're going to crack in some black pepper in it and then we're also going to season this with a little bit of salt i know we used a little bit of soy sauce just now but we need to also give a little bit more salt to the rice. Okay, give that a little bit of a stir. And last but not least, the wagyu goes in. Once the wagyu goes in, you turn the fire off. No more cooking. Even when we took out the beef just now, it was pink. It's now all cooked through. And you don't want a dry piece of wagyu beef. You don't. You want that juicy, fatty deliciousness in it. And that's it, guys. How simple was that? I literally made that in less than 10 minutes. And I have a hearty, delicious meal for my family and myself. So this is a little, like, chef -y trick. You put in a bit of spring onions. And then your nasi goreng or your fried rice goes inside. Just with the back of the spatula. Just give it a little squeeze. 
and then get yourself a plate and then there you have it my wagyu fried rice and if you want a little spice you can add a little chili oil if you want to know how to make this chili oil just look at my previous video